Let's get cozy. <laughs> Welcome to Happy Healthy Living with Yvonne Douglas. I'm Doug and today we're going to decorate uh, right after Christmas. We're going to continue with a winter theme and don't forget it's winter all the way th pretty much through March. So in Texas, it, the coldest months really is uh, January, February. Those are the coldest months, especially February. So um, I'm gonna still continue with a winter theme. It's not Christmas, it's just winter. So um, I already put away all the decorations. It took me about three hours to put away all those uh, Christmas decorations and the tree was hard this year. It's getting heavy and heavier bringing it up the stairs. <laughs> Either that or I'm getting older. Uh, but anyway, um, so we're gonna decorate for Christmas. I'm gonna show you some things you can do at home if you're interested and also where you can purchase some of these items. So stay tuned. So welcome back. So one of the things I love to do right after I put away all my Christmas decorations is I clean the whole house. And I think that's so important not only to clean it before you put Christmas decorations up, but after. Because let's face it, when Christmas decorations are up, you dust a little bit here and there, but it's really hard to get to everything because of all the decor. So um, I like to clear my counters. I like to clear it everything off. And then I'm going to start fresh, make sure I clean everything. Um, a couple of things I love to use for stainless steel. This is a uh, Wyman stainless steel cleaner and polish. Love to use that on my dishwasher, my range uh, refrigerator. So I use this with a microfiber cloth and I start wiping everything down. And also we're gonna do the sink, the countertops, kitchen table, and definitely uh, you have to sweep or vacuum the floor and mop it, you know, just the normal stuff. So let's get cleaning.
Now over here on my, right by my range, I just wanted to show you that I got these really cute mason jars and they're salt and pepper shakers. And then a friend gave me this for Christmas and it's measuring cups, Ray Dunn, super cute. And uh, then I got my canisters there. And basically these are all my cooking tools and I love to have it right here by the range so it's easy access. So the whisks, the tongs, the spatulas, the spoons, the slotted spoons, the kitchen knives, the hot plate, everything, wooden spoons back there. And then this is my new addition right here, this key t uh, tea kettle. And I got this off of Amazon. This is the brand. Hopefully you can read that. And it was, uh, I forgot how much it was, but I think it was on sale. And I got it for 20 something or 30 something. But it's really nice, nice handle. And I thought the color looks really nice and it goes really well with our winter cozy feeling. Okay, so the very first thing I wanna show you is the china closet that's been decorated, redecorated. And as you can see, I took the nutcrackers down, but I did leave the garland uh, and the lights uh, for now. Um, I, I, I don't think it's, I mean, it looks Christmassy, but remember we're going for a warm uh, winter theme here. And excuse Winston, I had to lock him up in his crate and he's crying. So if you hear him, that's because he wants to come out, but he'll be running around going crazy right now. Anyway, I got my mom and dad's uh, china that I inherited, the German Hutschenreuter. So I have those proudly displayed on the shelves there. And then I did some cute little uh, vignettes here. Let's take a look. So at the bottom here, I have uh, this little stand that I got at Hobby Lobby with Crazy Blessed and a little candle there. This again, a little, I guess if you could call it a Christmas pick, I call it a winter pick has some birch wood and pine cones and a little greenery. Then this plant I thought looked very winter white, kind of wintry, that light green, and it says, home, my happy place. Love that. And then this one says, a day without coffee is like, just kidding, have no idea. <laughs> so I kind of like that little sign there too. So I think it looks really cute on the breakfast room china closet. Looks really nice. Chargers, I got a Pure One before they went out of business a long time ago, and I, I love them because it's that soft brown. And then I also have these linen napkins, and I thought the color looks really nice with those uh, napkin rings. It's very natural wood. And so I'm just folding the napkin in half, then in half again, and you just zip it through the little napkin ring real easy and fluff it up and then you just place it on the charger just so that the table looks nice in the meantime and then um uh, even that it's just two of us i did set it for four and then in the middle i have a tray here that i'm going to place a really pretty wintry flower arrangement it has some white roses flowers on it and um and then i also got these ray dunn looking salt and pepper shakers and then I have a candle that our good friends, Lila and Jessica, gave me for my retirement. And so I'm going to light that. It smells so good. Okay, so on the counter I have a really pretty flower arrangement, winter white with some pine cones on a tray. And then on this counter I have another flower arrangement in the back corner. And I'm just placing some coasters there, organizing some stuff. And then I have another tray and I'm going to put on there a little flower arrangement along with these two canisters of vinegar and oil. And the brand name is called Hearth and Hand. And I got those at Target. Okay, so to block that electrical outlet, I placed that little chef there that says coffee and biscotti, and then a little tray with my creamer and coffee cup, 
everything in its place. And then I have a Ray Dunn canister, cookie canister, and I decided to put some keto, <laughs> keto cookies back in there. Uh, yeah, I guess I have to watch my weight, <laughs> working on my diet. So we're going to be eating some keto cookies. Yum. Yay. What's your favorite snack? Let me know in the comments. Um, now I'm also going to work on a two-tiered tray here. And I just love it. It's winter white. I have a little squirrel on there, some battery-operated candles, and a little sign that says must-have coffee. Because, yes, I love my coffee. On the fireplace mantle, I put a little tray there where I have some um, picks, winter picks, and I place some pine cones in there and some little sticks, made it look a little woodsy, and some battery-operated candles again. And I also have that uh, white fur ribbon in there so it looks like snow. And then, of course, that uh, wall hanging there I got at Kirkland's and that wreath was at Target. And then this is my new purchase. It's a Hobby Lobby birch tree that lights up. I thought it looks really good there. I put um, some fake, uh, it's not fake snow, but it's like, um, looks like snow, that uh, cotton. But Winston already chewed it up, <laughs> believe it or not. I had it out for this video and he already chewed it. So I put a basket there instead. Here, here in the mudroom I have, there's my painting of Jesus on the cross there, and I have some artwork hang, hung up there. And then um, on that back table, console table, see there's the back door leading to the patio, but that's a little mudroom. And then on that console table, I did another two-tier tray. Uh, all those items there you can see I got mostly at um, Hobby Lobby, but then I also got some off of Amazon. And that gnome is so cute in the corner there. He really is in person. He's like very bendable and flexible. And I just love him. He's wearing all those colors that I love, that soft brown, the white, the cream color. And you can pose him however you want. He's very posable. And then, um, yeah, I think it looks really cozy. I love it. I think it looks very wintry and cozy and and very sweet winter wishes yes and um, so I just love how that looks I have that gray runner that I actually had on my Christmas table so I reuse that and I just love it okay well do you feel a little cozy right now I know I do um, so you can definitely decorate uh, right after Christmas with a winter theme and you can use and incorporate some winter items or Christmas items, I should say, into your winter theme. So some of those picks, a lot of those picks I got at Hobby Lobby and uh, little flower arrangements here and there that kind of look a little wintry. And um, yeah, and then you can continue doing that. You could have that for January, February. Of course, in February, you want to bring in some Valentine's Day stuff, which we will be doing. And then March is when you start probably changing it out more into spring. And of course we have Easter and all that. So it's gonna be a lot of fun decorating this year, doing little vignettes, doing our little uh, two-tier trays, and I hope you stay tuned for that. We're of course gonna continue with some yummy recipes, and we're going to uh, actually take some little trips around town just to show you the DFW area, some restaurants if you ever visit DFW, a Dallas-Fort Worth area you might be interested in. So hopefully we have a lot planned for this year, and my journey for retirement has begun. <laughs> I am officially a retired right now, retired school teacher. So um, it feels really, really good. And we're gonna get into uh, my daily routine. What are some things that I do? Uh, I'm gonna start trying to work on my diet, fitness. I'm gonna share that journey with you too. And um, hopefully you'll stay tuned for all of that. So thank you so much for joining us on Happy Healthy Living with Yvonne Douglas today. Remember, if you want that homey vibe, you need to subscribe. And please give this video a like. Until next time, my friends, happy healthy living. Bye-bye.